SHOT SHOW 2022. WE'RE HERE WITH CORY FROM SMITH & WESTON. HE'S GOING TO EXPLAIN TO US A LITTLE BIT ABOUT THE VOLUNTEER SERIES. Uh, MY PLEASURE. THIS IS, uh, SO, OUR MSR LINE, RIGHT? WE HAD the, THE CLASSICS, THE SPORTS, RIGHT? THE right. SPORT TWO. EVERYONE LOVES THEM. The BIGGEST THING IS, LIKE, HEY, WE LIKE TO ACCESSORIZE. SO WE KIND OF PIVOTED AND SAID, HEY, ALL THE ACCESSORIES THAT YOU DO, uh, AFTERMARKET-WISE, WHY NOT LAUNCH LIKE A MID-TIER LINE? SO THIS IS OUR VOLUNTEER SERIES, THE XV MODEL HERE. SO THIS IS THE XV. Uh, COMES WITH THE BRAVO COMPANY HANDGUARD. B5 pistol grip. Right. It comes with our new flat face trigger. So it's not mil spec trigger, mm -hmm. whole weight, uh, but flat face. And paired up with that B5 pistol grip, man, your, your trigger finger's right on it. It's right. really good. And then that B5 stock, collapsible stock, mag pull backup sights. Just a really sweet, ready to rock gun. Out Absolutely. Of yeah, tons of awesome features on here with all the B5 furniture. Not something you're really seeing on the market too much on a, a new AR to get awesome furniture on it. That's that's a sweet entry level rifle. So the next step up from the the volunteer and a, obviously the naming right the volunteers. So Smith and Wesson's moving to Tennessee. We're moving our headquarters. Right. Massachusetts had a whole bunch of anti gun laws they were trying to pass, basically saying it would be illegal to manufacture these right. in the state of Massachusetts. So we pivoted. Tennessee was very awesome. It's like, awesome hey, state. We want you guys there. Um, so I'm super excited to be moving there. This is our XVOR. So again, it's got that B5 stock, uh, B5 grip, that same mil spec flat trigger. Uh, but the OR series, right, has instead of that A2 gas block, we've got a Picatinny rail. Right. So um, again, when you're looking like my ACOG, when I had it on standard with the A2, you get a little bit of that blur, right? For sure. Clearer sight picture here. If you did want to mount iron sights on it, you still have that option with that Picatinny rail up front. So this is the OR series in the XV line. Yeah, really, again, another awesome rifle, easily configurable, lightweight, everything you're really looking for. And let's say if we're going to call it a starter AR, it's there for you. And then probably my favorite, uh, the XV Pro. This is what I like to call the gun. If Corey was allowed to run into assembly unsupervised and build his own AR, uh, this is it. So uh, a little upgrade on the stock instead of the, the standard V5, we now have the SOP mod edition. A little more robust. I, I find a nicer cheek weld for me. Uh, plus, it has those storage compartments. The same B5 uh, pistol grip, same mil spec trigger. But now we move into the uh, Radian uh, Raptor charging handle. So we've got that ambidextrous functionality. Uh, metal backup iron sights. Free floated 16 inch barrel. And that primary weapon system muzzle brake, which. Man, when you run that rifle, it just sits flat, flat, like so flat. I almost felt like Jerry Mitchell like, shooting it. Not that I am. I mean, I shouldn't even compare it to the great <laughs> one himself. Oh yeah, Jerry's a good shooter, that's for sure. But then you also have this uh, this aluminum handguard here with the uh, M lock, and it's nice and narrow, easy to mount accessories like this uh, Crimson Trace light here. Um, but this is the gun if Corey was allowed. Yeah. Unsupervised in, in assembly, which is never happening yeah rundown uh, this thing is just a sweet rifle uh, the sop mod style everything like that radiant a full length free floated handguard the gun runs all the way out so you get nice and far out in the gun shoot nice and flat and everything like that everything you want in this one i mean you could get this one and not need to change a darn thing it would be absolutely perfect for somebody uh, that would be home defense tactical rifle police officers really this thing is a sweet I would rifle with that all day long. oh yeah i would too for sure and i've done that and that that break on there is going to be flat the only other one that uh, we don't have back here, which is out on the, sh uh, the shot DMR. Show, is the DMR, right? So now uh, increased rifle length, so 20-inch mm -hmm. barrel, but uh, instead of just the threaded, it's a target crown and threaded. So you get a little bit more of that accuracy for those right. further shots, and then a 20-inch barrel and rifle gas system versus the mid-length on this one. Right, and then you guys have the 5R rifling in those as well. It is. So they are just tack drivers of, of, of rifle barrel. Absolutely. So, Corey? Appreciate your time, man. Thanks Anytime. a lot. Take care. Thanks for coming, guys.